Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be they scared. Your spirit makes them nervous. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they scared. Your spirit makes them nervous. All right. Listen, y'all, I've told y'all time and time and time again, when you have the spirit of God, family, it shows. OK, when you have the spirit of God, your adversaries, your enemies, family, friends, those who are surrounded by you will see it. Now, some people will accept it for the negative and some people will accept it for the positive. Right. But either or y'all, it does not take away the fact that you have the spirit of God within you. And so you're going to make a lot of people nervous. Y'all, you go to the grocery store. People are nervous naturally around you. Right. When you are in the class, guess what? People are naturally nervous around you when you are, you know, at school, when you are at the job, when you are anywhere, y'all in life. OK, you are making people nervous because of the type of spirit that you have. You have to understand y'all, that, that you have an abnormal spirit, which means the type of spirit that you possess is very different divine and powerful somebody drop in the comments and say i am divine and powerful the spirit that you possess makes people you know feel it like they really feel this in the energy that you carry they really feel and sense the divinity that is on the inside of you y'all like they feel it and so when people are in this this state of insecurity okay it's gonna make them nervous like, they don't know what to expect from you. They don't even know why they feel the way they feel, but they feel that way. Okay? And so I need y'all to understand something, y'all. Again, your spirit makes people nervous. They are scared, y'all. And we are about to talk about it within this video. Um, Y'all already know how we do. Y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. Not only that, y'all, but y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's go ahead and get into a chosen ones. Number one. All right. The first reason your spirit makes people nervous is you are unpredictable. All right. Yes, family, you are unpredictable. And being unpredictable is actually a great thing because people don't know whether you're going to go left, right, up, down, sideways. OK. Um, when you are unpredictable, people can't just, you know, finish off your sentences, you know, finish off where you left from. You know, people can't tell you what you're going to do before you tell them what you're going to do. Like you're unpredictable, you know, and when a person is unpredictable, it can make other individuals nervous. You know, like, have you ever had that family member, whether it's mom, dad, sister, cousin, brother, uncle, y'all know, and. You know, they're used to you maneuvering a certain way. And now that you don't move that way anymore, it's like a big shock, right? It's like overwhelming to them. Like, can you believe this? How long? You know, and they start questioning you and, you know, asking you, like, are you okay? And are you sure? Because you're acting abnormal, right? No family, it is because you are unpredictable, right? You know, y'all, and this this right here, this is kind of funny, you know. Um, but my mom, right after right after my um divorce, I was, you know, uh pretty much staying by myself. And one day my mom came over and I was baking cookies, right? You know, I was baking cookies, y'all, chocolate chip cookies. One of my actually the favorite cookie of mine, my favorite cookie. And, you know, she was like, when you start baking cookies you know and i was like mom i, I bake cookies i like cookies you know <laughs> I, I, I want me some chocolate chip cookies and so the point is y'all you know it was a form of being unpredictable like not knowing that oh he baked cookies you know people kind of feel like they know you know what to expect from you nope i may you know bust out and start eating hummus you know i, I may bust out and want to go to china i am unpredictable don't ever think that you know what I'm going to do. Don't ever think that you know my next move before I know my next move. And y'all know the reason why people feel like that? It's because you tell them so much. You tell them how you're going to move, the way you're going to move, you know, how big the move is. And the funny thing is, y'all, they act as if they don't care. 
They act as if they're not listening and they act as if it's not important to them. But all they doing is taking mental note. All they doing is taking physical note. All they're doing is taking uh, 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 mental notes, y'all, because they don't want to come off as needy. They don't want to come off as if, you know, they it, this is a, a big thing for them. They want to plagiarize, copy, and take the full credit, all right, without you knowing. But here's the thing. They got the sauce from you. Somebody drop in the comments and say, you got the sauce from me. You know, y'all, have you ever been talking to somebody about something that you've been wanting to do? And when you talk to them about it, you you know, you're looking at it because this is my friend. This is my family. This is somebody who I see, you know, uh, as a close person. You know, after you get done talking to them, y'all, you start hearing them having the same type of verbiage, the same type of conversation. And you were just like, hold on. You were just acting as if you wasn't interested. Now you're literally copying everything I said and did verbatim. What's going on here? Right? What's the problem? Why weren't you interested when I was telling you and talking to you in my enthused voice and, and, and when I had that energy? They want to take the, the credit for it. But sticking to the point, y'all, you are unpredictable. And when you become unpredictable, you know, that's going to make people nervous because their question is, what are they going to do next? Who are they going to become? Be unpredictable because when you do make that move, the shot value is high, right? When certain people leak songs, you know, um, off of the album, when it actually come out, it's not as, it don't have that same shot value because they already heard it three months ago, you know? So again, stay unpredictable, right? No matter if it make them nervous, no matter if it make them feel, you know, like ah, I can't really be around him or her or I can't really be around them because I can't predict what they going to do. I don't know what to expect. So, so, so again, y'all, you are unpredictable. This is why your spirit make people nervous. All right. Number two, y'all, they are afraid of what you may feel about them. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they are afraid of what you may feel about them. And see, this right here is very powerful, too, because, you know, many people know that you have an intuitive spirit. Many people know that you have the gift of discernment. They know these things. However, they don't want to be around you because of those very things that you have. These are spiritual gifts, people. These are spiritual gifts, people. So understand something. They are afraid of what you may feel about them because they know that they really got a knife behind their back, right? They know their true intentions. They know why they came into your life. You know, when a person gets successful, or in the process of becoming successful, they're going to have certain people who come into their lives who really want to help them. Like, like they may have agents who want to help them, you know, um, managers who really can see the highest potential of them. Right. They may have people who want to assist them. Real life people who are, you know, interested in helping them. And then you got the leeches, <laughs> you know, you got the people who say, oh, man, if you give me a million dollars, I can bring you back five million. Well, they never seen that person after they gave them the million dollars. I was just a tool. I was just something and someone for you to use. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? So when you are able to feel that, they don't want to be around that. Because you are willing to expose the truth. You are willing to talk to God to get those hidden secrets. You are willing to open your eyes. See, what the world want to do is, is to blind you with materialistic possessions. They want to blind you with the money. They want to blind you with the things that don't mean anything. I mean, we just seen Hurricane Helene, right? Um, Hurricane Milton as well. And how these storms have taken away all these materialistic possessions. It don't mean nothing. I don't care if your house is worth uh, $5 million and I don't care if it's worth $50,000. 
materialistic possessions don't mean anything. Can we use them while we are here? Absolutely. You know, technically a decor don't mean nothing, but it doesn't mean I, I shouldn't put it up in my house. Oh, a decor don't mean nothing, so I'm not going to put it up. But I'm going to put that decor up. But I understand the true value and the true meaning in life. Right? And I want to bring this thing back to your spirit. The spirit that you have, the spirit that you possess, it makes people afraid because they know when they get around you, you're going to feel something about them and it makes them nervous. It makes them nervous to even speak. It makes them nervous to even talk. Y'all ever notice, like, let's just say you are that spiritual friend and you have another friend and they bring somebody else around and that friend that you have just got a good heart, right? Maybe you are the friend, but you have that good heart or they have that good heart. And I'm talking about y'all. It's so good to where it's like good to a fault. And whenever that other person come around, you're not so giddy, right? Or they're not so giddy. They're not so open and outgoing. It's not to say they're being buttholes, but it's to say that they are very observant. And so when this person notice how observant you are or how observant they are, they kind of shy away because they know that you know. So they go. <laughs> Understand what I'm saying, y'all? Your spirit make them nervous. Right? This is why they are scared. Number three, family, you have a confident spirit, right? You have a confident spirit. And family, confidence is one of the most powerful things you can have. Because if you are confident, you can conquer the world, literally. If you have confidence, you can overcome your obstacles. If you have confidence, you can achieve all your goals. If you have confidence, you will be able to build something enormous okay you you will have the ability to build something big huge you will because this is what confidence do confidence is the difference between a man approaching a woman and getting rejected and still moving on right and a man approaching a woman getting rejected and staying right there oh i'm too ugly i i, I can't do it man they don't like me my nose too big right but meanwhile, you got people who look like Dumbo, you know, with 10 girls on their on, on uh, right hand side. But I'm not making this about women and men. I'm saying when you have confidence, there's nothing that you can't attain. There's nothing that you can't build. There's nothing that you can't get. There's nothing that you can't uh, make happen. Because you have confidence. And so, family, when you have a confident spirit, you're going to make a lot of people nervous. This is why they want to dim your light. This is why they want you to shut up. This is why they want you to sit down. You're going to take all the shine from me. Cut that light down. Gosh, stop smiling so much. Stop laughing so much. And you're like, man, I'm just trying to bring light and life to the situation. There's no sense of sitting in this workplace, this house, you know, this place, this event, like we in a funeral. Last time I checked, we were supposed to be having fun. Last time I checked, we were supposed to be doing something that was bringing some type of happiness to it. Why are we sitting here like it's a funeral? But this is what they want you to do. So again, y'all, you have a confident spirit. Okay, you have a confident spirit. Number four, y'all, you are ambitious, okay, a.k.a. driven, right? Let me say a lot of y'all, for my chosen ones in the back, you are ambitious, okay, a.k.a. driven. Now, I wanna, I'm want i going to play God's advocate on this, y'all. Um, yes, having too much ambition can be bad because you can miss out on loved ones, family, people who really care about you, your health, things that really can move the needle forward for you, not financially, but emotionally, spiritually, and physically, right? And of course, health-wise, y'all. Um, what I'm saying is, y'all, ambition can be bad. Don't get this twisted, right? Um, there was a book I was reading, and it says that ambition is the evil brother of aspiration let me say that once again y'all it says that ambition 
is the evil brother of aspiration. And so what that simply means is, y'all, be inspired. Right. Aspire to do something. Aspire to build something. But don't be overly ambitious to where you don't even see the true value and meaning in life. Right. So understand what I'm saying, y'all. Now, again, ambitious can be good as, as well because, you know, it keeps you driven. Right. It keeps you on your purpose. It keeps you pushing. It keeps you continuing to drive. Some people lack that ambition. And so when you are around people who lack the ambition, what happens is, y'all, is that many people and those who are close to you will look at you and say, what are you doing? Why you keep pushing and keep going? Just sit right here in this box. Be happy with your job. Right. Who's saying the song, y'all? Don't worry. Be happy. That's what they want you to do. See, they got the don't worry part right, right? That's fine. Don't worry. But I am not wrong for, you know, uh, not being happy with where I am currently. I am appreciative, right? But I'm not going to get comfortable in poverty. I'm not going to get comfortable in not having. I'm not going to get comfortable with having to be on food stamps, welfare. I'm not going to be comfortable with that. And you ain't going to tell me I'm a bad person because of that. We're going to go ahead and get that straight up and down. Up and down. But follow what I'm saying, y'all. It is okay to be ambitious to a, a degree, to a, to a certain extent. And this is why people are nervous around you because you remind them of what they're not doing. You remind them of what they need to do. You remind them of how hard they're not going. They got kids and they and they're scraping by doing the bare minimum. Now, I'm not saying that they are wrong for, you know, what they can't do. Right. You know, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, y'all, I don't care who you are from the top to the bottom. We all had to go through some type of struggle. Right. And of course, some people were born into wealth and riches, but that's not the mass majority. I don't care what nobody say. That's not the mass majority. That is a small portion of the population. But still, when you are ambitious, you got to realize something, y'all. You're going to make a lot of people nervous. They can't be around you. Right. They can't be around you. Moving on to the next one, y'all, is going to be number five. That is, um, you have the spirit of a leader, okay? You have the spirit of a leader. See, when you have the spirit of a leader, everybody don't want to feel like they're being led, especially not by you. I just made a post, y'all, and I said that there are so many people who are inspired by you, but they will keep it in secret because it's you. Let me say a lot to y'all for my chosen ones in the back listen family i said there's so many people who are inspired by you but they will never tell you uh because it's you why well, i say they will keep it in secret because it's you my bad y'all but yeah this is what they would do they will keep it in secret because it's you you have the spirit of a leader and see the problem is they feel like they should be much further than you and so what they're going to do is, is, is diminish your accomplishments and make them seem small and minuscule. They're going to try to make them seem as if you ain't did, you ain't did nothing that I can't do. Well, why haven't you did it? Why you ain't do it? I'm just saying, family. But this is how insecure people think. This is how people think, you know, who are behind in life. Those who really are failures and they are constantly celebrating failure. But the fact that you are celebrating your success, they want to make you feel like your success ain't success. When in fact, they have not achieved anything. They haven't achieved nothing. And I'm not laughing at them or talking down on them, but they have the nerve to speak down on you. And that's crazy, y'all. Your spirit makes people nervous. This is why they're scared, okay? Because you have the spirit of a leader. They know that when they, whenever they go right, you're going left. 
They know that you make your own decisions. They know that they can't influence nothing that you do. They can talk, but listen, it's up to you to active listen because just because some, just because you hear something, it doesn't mean that you are listening to it. There's a difference, y'all. Active listening is the act of actually listening. Some people just talk and they hear the words come out and they go in one ear out the other. <laughs> This is how you got to do people who are talking nonsense, right? Yeah, y'all, when I hear people talking nonsense, I just be like, yep, I'm not finna argue with nobody. I'm not about to fight nobody. I'm not about to shoot nobody. I'm not about to do anything that's going to take away my freedom, my peace, or, you know, me being in alignment with God. I'm not about to go there with nobody. I'm not finna argue, fuss and fight, confrontation, none of that. It's just going to be a quick, okay, oh, that's what's up. Right. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yup. Oh, okay. Just like that. I'm not about to go back and forth with you because it's a waste of my time. Somebody drop in the comments and say you won't waste my time. But without getting into this rant, y'all, we're going to go ahead and conclude this video right here, y'all. But let me just say this. Don't change your spirit for nobody. You're going to make a lot of people nervous with the spirit that you possess. And it is what it is. It is what it is. But y'all, as a quick recap, Number one, y'all, you are unpredictable. Number two, they are afraid of what you may feel about them. Number three, you have a confident spirit. Number four, you are ambitious. And number five, you have the spirit of a leader, okay? Y'all already know how we do. If you would like to purchase any one of those Yes Sir t-shirts, my Rich Mentality hoodies, uh, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, or enroll into my social influence course, listen, family, y'all can hit the link in my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality